Has come out and finally the kids can play. After a third place finish in last year's WDA tournament, Century's baseball team was more than ready to begin their season this afternoon when they took on Minot to kick off the 2023 season. The bright sun this afternoon, it was causing problems early on defense. As you can see here, Mason Zietz, his ground ball is fumbled and he makes it to first. It's an RBI single for Zietz and the Magicians, they're on the board first. Bottom half of the first now. With two outs gone, Carter Kruger, he's going to blast this ball to left, left center field. It's very far back there. It takes one hop and goes over the fence. It's a ground rule double for him, and he would eventually score, and Sentry would tie it. Two outs in the top of the second. Carter Hand, he hits this very long to steep center, and Gavin Lill makes a fantastic over-the-shoulder grab. The Magicians, they would take this one, the first one, 6-3. to three. In the Demons, they played earlier this morning against Jamestown. It was scoreless until the top of the second. Jamestown's Carson Orr, he delivers the pitch to Brady Helm, who makes contact. He drops the ball just in the shallow field, and he drives in a run as well. So it's 1-0 Demons. In the bottom half of the second now, Ethan Gow from Jamestown, he pops up the pitch to shallow shortstop. Cherry and Keffel there to make the grab, but it's an RBI. It's the Jays' first run of the game. Peyton Holter, he drives this ball to left center field. It drops down. It's an RBI single for him. This ties the game up at three to piece. And Jamestown, they would stay hot and take this game, game one, 10 to three over the Demons. Today in girls' soccer, it was the first time that Dickinson played at the varsity level. So really, it's anywhere but up from here. Marissa Thorson crosses it in from... Minot and Dickinson's goalie does a good job of making the initial stave and then keeping it out. Three minutes later, Julia Lewis, she's going to play in. Java McKillian, and she has a wide open net, sticks it in. It's 1-0, Minot's first goal of the season. Minot would score four goals in the first 13 minutes. Macy Burke, which is her birthday, she dribbles into the box and finds Julia Lewis, whose shot is deflected. Morgan fourth, and she's going to get the rebound, tucks it away. Minot had seven seniors graduate, but they don't look to be slowing down anytime soon. They win 18 to zero over Dickinson. After losing four to three last night against the White Sox, the Twins, they won four to three tonight, thanks to Byron Buxton, who was the difference maker. He had one home run and two RBIs. Jamestown, they won the game, uh, game two against the Demons by 10. Then Century, they lost Again to Minot Williston, they beat Legacy, and then Legacy beat Williston right back. Shiloh beat Washburn, and then in softball, the WDA favorites took, took both games over Century, while Legacy scored a total of 50 runs on Watford in two games. Wilton Wing topped Washburn by five, and in girls soccer, Legacy put four past Century, while the Demons won by seven, and then Shiloh, I mean St. Mary's won 2-0 over Williston. That's all for sports, though. We'll see you right back here after the break.